How to use Excel to run your home. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Being a grown up is rubbish. When you're a kid, you think being an adult will be brilliant. Like being a kid, but with all the money in the world. In reality, there's so much boring stuff you have to do as an adult. Whether you're budgeting for a holiday, organising a wedding, or just trying to balance the books, running a home is a headache through and through, and it takes up an inordinate amount of time. That's time you could well be spending on the sort of fun things you used to be able to do as a kid. Instead of scribbling your finances onto bits of paper and punching things into calculators like a Neanderthal, why not do it on Excel instead? Step 1. Bill management. Part of the problem with doing finances is all this sort of rubbish. Look at him, leafing through bits of paper, scratching his head and getting it wrong. Much easier if you put it all in a spreadsheet. And don't think spreadsheets are boring either. Use smart art to fill it with colour and designs and it'll be nice to look at, as well as mathematically correct. Set up rules so that if your outgoings are greater than your incomings, your total box goes red, so you can see there's a problem. You can also set up rules so that if your telephone bill, for example, goes over a certain predefined limit, it'll get flagged and you know where to cut back for next month. Formulas are dead easy to implement these days. Just go to the formulas bit on the menu bar and everything's practically done for you already. Select what you need and just fill it in. Step 2. Events management. If you've got a big event to plan, like a wedding, Excel can make the whole thing much easier. Keep it to one document, but use different sheets for different bills. One for reception, one for the outfits, one for the ceremony, and one for the honeymoon. Add comments to your data too, to help you keep track of things. Select where you're going to put a comment, and go to Review, New Comment. This can be for things like the date you need to pay by, or what details you still need to confirm. Use different fonts and background colours to get your spreadsheets as far away as possible from the traditional boring work spreadsheet look. That way, you'll be more inclined to fire it up and fill it in on a regular basis. Step 3. Graphs. As discussed, spreadsheets are dull as hell, and all those numbers make it difficult to glean information. You've spent £1,138 or dollars or whatever this month, but what exactly does that mean in the big picture? Select your data, go to Insert, and turn it into a pie chart or something. Oh, or a nice graph. Yes, graphs are ace. So much easier to understand than reams and reams and reams and reams and reams of numbers. It's probably time to stop being scared of Excel. Little boxes with numbers in are out, and colourful wazzo drawings are in. You can even drag bits of the pie around to make it easier to see. The whole thing's just embarrassingly easy. So use Excel to run your home. Set a specific time and date, like the first of each month, to fill it all in and keep up to date. It'll leave you with more time for the fun things in life. Done.